Touching the sword is 50 septums. Would you like to touch the sword? Sure. We, we, he's just taking us for all we're worth, but you know, let's just go with it. I want to see, uh, you know, what happens. That's right. Feel your hand, stroke the metal. Oh, yeah. Now, what did you think of that? Yeah, we're gonna lie. It's the best sword I've ever stroked. Oh, yeah. And I've stroked a lot of swords. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we did that. Lots of sword stroking and touching going on in there. Many of swords being stroked. Oh, yeah. Just gonna make my way around the city now. This is the one we could uh, talk to, potentially. Go kill someone, some traitors. All right. Someone else's house. Gort. My weapon wants a tempering. Things want to kill him. Fetch me three iron ingots to temper my weapon and my book of killing so I know who needs killing. Then I'll give you gold. Eh, uh, no. My killing arm's getting flabby. Change your mind. I want to get me some killing done. <laughs> Alright, we'll continue our little impromptu tour. We got a smelter. Might be able to Knock out a few iron ore there. For tradition. Boop. Gort's the name, <laughs> killing's the game. Alright, so we got an actual arms shop of sorts. We'll just knock out a few things of smithing while we're here. We'll come inside, see what they have to offer. You know. Always glad to have a customer. This here's Northern Arms, and the guy you're looking at is a master blacksmith. Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> For forge a couple of things. Uh, steel long sword. Blacksmithing takes a lot of time and effort to master, but the results speak for themselves. Heavy quaff. Oh, and plus, at that museum, we finally got the what pronunciation for cross. <laughs> I've said in other videos, like, how, how do you say this? <laughs> I've owned my craft for years. I may not be Orlin Greymane, but then again, this ain't Skyrim. This ain't. Ah, hmm? uh, what do you have for sale? It's come out of my forge, so I can guarantee great quality. Well, let's see that. Warhammer, battle axe, steel great sword, mace action. Some steel armor. He's got a couple of all right items. Nothing that really helps us. Farewell. What hello to you? Welcome. The name's Edvia. I'm Holgard's assistant. What do you have for sale? The sharpest swords, the heftiest axes. To the point? Alright. Looks like it's all the same stuff. Okay. Farewell. Farewell. Alright. Nice little place you got here. Head back outside. Getting a little dark, let's get our lantern on. There we go. We've made almost a complete circle. Yes, orc. Don't, don't you worry about it. We kind of walked past all these houses. Ah, Castle Bruma. Hello. Hello. All right, let's go into the castle. Remember it being mentioned at one point. 
Excuse me, sorry to bother. I don't suppose you've seen any priceless Sakaviri heirlooms gallivanting around Broom, have you? <laughs> uh, no heirlooms, sorry. As I suspected, sorry to bother you, citizen. No worries. Just, uh, let me know if any do crop up, yeah? Thanks. So, uh, yeah, now I'm interested. Because the voice acting is really good on this. <clears throat> you, you have piqued my interest. What's all this about, uh, Akaveri? Heirlooms. A whole lot of uproar about nothing, that's why. The Count's been nagging my life and soul out about the damn things. You see, the Carvanes have a sort of family tradition. They've acquired a taste for Akaviri artifacts, constantly collecting more and more. Been going on for centuries now. Well, it turns out poor old Count Desilus... <coughs> Count Carvane? Isn't too happy that his collection's been stolen. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of tensions there, potentially? No, not tensions as such, just... I'm tired. I've had four sleepless nights in a row. The Count's talking my ear off about these artifacts, and it's stopping me from tending to more important issues. I, not that I'm disloyal to Count Carvane, of course. I've never had reason to dislike our ruler. Better him than some of the other Counts and Countesses in the province. All right. And you mentioned some more important issues? Yes, this damned artifact business doesn't affect anyone except the Count. While I'm out chasing after shiny baubles, people are getting killed by bandits and waylaid on the road. I mean, we've got Thorina's cutters roaming the Geralds and harrying travelers for Stendar's sake. And I'm wandering Bruma after trinkets, like some lost paint horse looking for its master. Well, could you use some help? I... Well, that's... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Absolutely. This is driving me crazy. Just bring them back to me when you found them, and I'll be extremely appreciative. I mean extremely appreciative. Seriously. I feel like offing myself right about now. Do you know off me later? Oh, yeah. Anyway. All right, so, uh... Let's find out exactly what was stolen, because now we got a case. Akaveri artifacts. I don't know anything more specific than that. Brignar and the Count both told me, but honestly, it flew in one ear and out the other. If you want to know exactly what artifacts to keep your eyes peeled for, talk to Rignar. I'm sure he can help you more there. Okay. So, uh, when and how were the artifacts stolen? I'm not too sure on the details of that, to be honest. Rignar, the castle steward, was the first one who noticed them missing. Might be worth speaking to him, if you think that's interesting evidence to dig up. Right. Uh, so what, why would the thief want the artifacts? Monetary, monetary, monetary value? Or... Almost definitely the resale value. Akaviri artifacts are very often one of a kind, and they can fetch a very high price to the right buyers. Someone possessing those artifacts could find themselves becoming very wealthy very quickly. I suspect that's the motive here. Alright. So how did the thief even get inside the castle? I have no idea how they'd manage that, honestly. Either adept stealth or good luck. Probably a bit of both. Hmm. Interesting. Any suspects? Not in particular. Then again, the low lives of Bruma don't exactly hide themselves all that well. The shadier tavern in town, the restful watchman, full of thieves, bandits, thugs, and other miscreants, might be a decent place to start your search. And we've been there, getting paid by a bandit, thief, thug, miscreant. <laughs> all right. Talk to you later. Indeed. Doesn't just show us. So we this is one we actually need to figure out. But zombies tend to haunt caves. Be careful if you decide to go treasure hunting. Okay. We'll be on the lookout for zombies. Only 
got a, a throne. Ooh, hello there. Hmm. Much intrigue. Like a very diary translation. It looks like a blade shield. I think that is. Alright, so we're looking for basically the hand of the king in this case. <laughs> they may or may not know something. But I think we're gonna do, at least for now. So we're just gonna rest. We're just gonna wait right here. I'm just gonna chill. And then, in the morning, when everybody gets up, we'll talk, find out some more about these artifacts. And good morning. Just got a little bit of sleep in the corner. Hmm. Oh look, an infant. How quaint. So, uh, why so condescending? Surely the better question would be why so patient? Why so serious? Because I can tell you in no uncertain terms that you are trying my patience with your primitive blubbering and inane questions. Leave me. Hmm. So what are you and I'm gonna do? Hunt down and execute Talos worshippers, keep people in line, and enforce the White Gold Concordat. Alright. Farewell. Indeed. Alright, now it seems like everybody's kinda taking their place. What can Viscount Bruma do for you? <laughs> ah. I'm Sinja. Sinja Strong Mind. I'm one of the nobles of County Bruma. Is there anything I can help you with? I'll talk to you. What do you need? Talk to the Count himself. Do you need something? And nothing. Goodbye. I was hoping there'd be uh, another individual that might be able to give us some more information, though. Hello. Yes, Orc. Good morning. Mm -hmm. There you Good are. Morning. Hey, let's talk about some stolen artifacts. So the guard captain's actually looking into it. Excellent. Can't have the Carvain artifact collection lost to some random burglar. Did you see the theft itself? What happened? I didn't know. I was just doing the rounds here in the castle. I was about to go to bed for the night when I noticed something. Normally, there's a little glint in the corner of my eye. The light bouncing off of one of the Akaviri amulets. But this time, nothing. I went to investigate, and the artifacts were gone. I'm sorry I can't be of more use. Alright, so what artifacts exactly are missing? Some amulets, some rings, the katana, all of Akaviri design. Priceless relics. Very valuable and very well loved by the Count. Alright, done questioning you for now. Best of luck with your investigation. Okay, so we got a slight idea of what we're looking for. Oh, I thought it was going to be a statue. So we'll head over to the uh, Restful Watchman, I believe was the name of the place. I thought there was a chest. Right over there. Let's see if anyone potentially has any clues. If there's anything we can find. So we'll just come around this way. So one's selling. Ah, I was like, there's a lot of people talking about selling, and there we go. There was a little marketplace out of I'm Galarin. Hopeful. If you have any cuts or bruises, <laughs> I'd be happy to practice my restoration on you. This one's just going to let this thing run loose in the streets. There it is. That's for watching. Boop. All right, we'll see if anyone here knows anything about anything. Barkeep. Hello. You here to hey, do Hey, fellow work. 
What is it? Heard anything about stolen Akaveri heirlooms? I don't tend to gossip about my patrons. Bad for business, you know. Especially when you're in my line of work. Well, how about we uh, get a little uh, bit of on the same page here with some of that coin? A little gold always greases the wheels. I'll tell you what you want to know. Exactly. There's this Breton guy who comes through here every now and again. Sleaziest guy I've ever seen. Except for me, of course. Of course. Got a reputation to maintain, you know? For sure. Name's Atien, or something like that. Anyway, he mentioned something to do with Akaviri trinkets while we spoke. Mentioned wanting to sell them, or something. I guess he's your man. And, uh, where can I find this Atien? Uh, I don't know. Listen, do you really think I'm going to tell you everything about my customers? That's a sure way to get run out of this business. Well, we'll try the intimidation. We're big. We're an orc. So answer me or you lose more than your patrons. Not going to happen. Alright, don't play dumb with me. Well smarter than that. Not going to happen. Alright, well, I'll be back. You'll speak. Go on. Try. Can I help hmm. you? So we gotta find a way to pressure him into giving some more information. Yes, or uh, to fail at a simple job like that. No way it was just a coincidence. It must have been. Oh, hello. What are you looking at? Speak. What are you mumbling about? I. That's none of you. I suppose there's no harm in telling you now. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to help. I'm a mercenary. Been one for years now, and I don't often fail a job. But this last time, I did fail, but not through any fault of my own. Let me guess. Are you a hero to save the day? Cut out the sarcasm. I don't appreciate it. If you want to help me, if you want the honor of working by my side, then you should at least exercise respect. I'd been hired by some anonymous noble to clear out a cave full of bandits near Bruma. Offer some nice coin, too. My wife came with me. We're battle partners. Things were going well and until we were ambushed. Banded reinforcements showed up out of nowhere, flanking us the way we came. They bound us and gagged us, left us disarmed and defeated. They left with my wife and left me to die. I managed to escape my captivity, but when I got back to the cave, they'd gone. All of them, including my wife. I've been searching for her damn near a whole year now. No success. Well, I don't suppose to be pay involved. A mercenary, eh? <laughs> Someone after my own heart. Sure there'd be. I have a bit of coin left over from the old days. Alright. Could be... of interest. Praise Malakath. Once you turn up something solid, let me know. I'll be here. The best place to start is probably the castle. Ask the nobles, see if they know anything. Alright. Hello. Farewell. Good afternoon. <laughs> this one calls you friend. What is it? Yeah, well, there doesn't seem to be any body that uh, knows. What is it? Potentially anything. What is it? Hmm. Uh, we'll just talk to him. Well, honestly, sometimes I do. I'm only saying this because I suspect you might be able to help me out. You see, there's this snooty Altmer that came through here a few days back. One of those haughty Alinor types. Newcomer to Bruma. Well, he came here not realizing that the Gerald view might have been more to his tastes. After he witnessed a few of our, oh, you know, morally gray activities and an exceptional display of promiscuity, well, <laughs> he decided to leave. Now, in his outrage and disgust, he's planning to try and press charges against my tavern. If you could just talk him down, I'd appreciate it. 
All right, why exactly should I help you? Because I can pay you, and I'm just too charming to resist. Why wouldn't you help me? All right, we'll do it. We'll see if this can maybe help us pressure him into giving up some info in our prior quest. Great. He's probably storming around town right now, trying to rabble-rouse against the Watchmen. Put a stop to it. Okay. Farewell. So we gotta find this guy first. Alright, so he's... Not too far away, okay. What is it? So what's the problem with the rest of the Watchmen? It's a dingy squad filled with criminals, rats, and lice. Here. The amount of underhanded deals and crooked business that goes on there, it beggars belief. I wanted the proprietor to land in hot water with our dear guard captain. He deserves it, no? Say, would you help me with that? Uh, so why exactly should I help you? is filled with criminals. They deal with bandits. They steal, they rob. Surely it's only right that they face justice for what they do. Not really my thing. Sorry. I am not used to being refused. <laughs> but so be it. So, wants you to drop the charges. Ha, that isn't going to happen, I'm afraid. Hmm. Bye. Well? Can I help you? Ha! That isn't going to happen, I'm afraid. Hmm. Can I help you? Yes, Traveler? What do you need? Back to the cathedral. Wonder. Hello. Okay, that didn't work. It was worth a shot, you know, just to see. Good afternoon. See you around. Still not. Respect the law. Respect yourself. Where is it going? What is it? Looking for the news! What is it? No, no need to yell. What happened? Stranger, you seen my dad? No. <laughs> Alright, now where is he going? Alright, so he's not yes, leaving. Walk. Okay, we're gonna swing back around, back to the restful watchman. What? We'll see if uh, there's anything we can just say that. Can I help you? I've got rooms, I've got food and drinks, and a thousand elven ladies under my belt. <laughs> um. All right, so no, hey, we can we can't really talk to him, da da da. But this place is filthy. Seems to be full of undesirables. Then go over to the Gerald View if it suits you better. Me, I think this inn has more character than Mister Stantis Fancy Pants's little establishment. Okay. Any rumors? A Lamu Nethre, dark elf girl. She's wanting adventurers to help her with something. Not sure what. All right. Get much trouble in here? Seems to me you're starting trouble asking questions like that. This is a fine establishment. We don't pretend to be more than we are, though. Now, what can I get you? Hmm. All right. Until next time. Indeed. Yes, orc? Good afternoon. Hmm? Same few people that are in here. Okay, now. 
Can I help you? Actually. DD Squad, I wanted proprietor Flandon. Excellent. As it so happens, I'm a mage by trade. I have access to many magical items from my home of Alinor. Take this. It's a very special memory gem. I have one active at all times, and this particular one recorded everything that happened in the tavern that night. Take it, and let the guard captain listen to it. Irrefutable evidence! I'm sure he'll see fit to take action then. Farewell. Farewell indeed. Damn. What's that snot-brained Aldmer doing here? This is no place for one of them. You don't think he's Thalmor, do you? No, doesn't seem the sort. But he's still not the right type for our little den. Might bring the wrong kind of attention. So what do we do? Stabbing him would be... excessive, so... I know. Why don't we treat him to a little show of our favorite lusty Argonian maid? Perfect. Let's go fetch her. Here. Take this coin. I'd like to buy a little trouble? show for my Almer friend over there. Sure thing. Oh, one other thing. He wanted you to roleplay as Lifts Her Tail, you know, from... Ha! <laughs> Altmer. Always the same fantasy. Sure thing. Hey, darling. I heard you wanted a date with Lifts Her Tail. What is the meaning of this? Lifts Her Tail? What a ridiculous name for an even more ridiculous... Oh my! Xarxas's breath! What an oblivion are you doing? I demand that you put that back on! Ariel, give me strength! Cease and desist! I demand that you cease and desist at once, you cretinous lizard woman! Stop jiggling about! I can't take this anymore! I think I'm going to faint! I think... Ah! Oh. Ha! <laughs> it worked! Otis, you really are a genius. Heh! <laughs> I know! Sop didn't even know what hit him. Ha! They breed them special in Alinor, don't they? You know what's even more satisfying mm. than arresting a criminal? Seeing them rot in a cell. Okay. I was hoping... ...that, uh... ...it would give us a bit more than that. But maybe we can use this... As pressure, potentially? So let's try. We'll try that. Be like, hey. You don't give this up, we're going to the guard, see? Going to the copper, see? Yeah, see ya! The restful watchman. Root, you here to do business? Hmm. Talk to you later. Just a little bed. No options to pressure, if you will. Some mysterious sack of ear. Hmm. What you hiding? No. No. We're just helping ourselves, don't you worry. Some gloves, shoes. Quite tiny. <laughs> Alright. So no option for that. Bedroll. Hmm. What in oblivion are you doing? Just looking for evidence. What are you doing gawking at me? Shoo! I've given you a task. Unless you think you've found the culprit. Nope. <laughs> Alright, nothing. Good afternoon. So what we're gonna do... We're gonna continue... With... Cap the captain. Let him listen. I 
Now the captain. I would imagine. Huh. What's the pressure? Another way to pressure. Okay, so we got a couple of things we could do here for pressure. Push it down We'll just keep going over this way. Let's see here. Got a lot of copies here. Interested? So that's Captain. Captain. I want to go in here and see if there may or may not be something around these parts that we could do. Probably like, hey, I need some more information to pressure him with. What is it? So, you won't tell me anything about legal pressure. Or, without legal pressure. Hmm. Perhaps go speak with the guard captain. I'm afraid such things are out of my hands. Okay, so we gotta talk to the captain anyway. Okay, it was worth checking, you know, just to have a look. So we'll head back out this way. Back down here. Speak with old Captain, my Captain. I heard there were beasties around. Be careful, traveler. So, uh, Meteor won't tell me anything without legal pressure. Bentior wants legal pressure. <laughs> well, I think we can certainly accommodate him there. Take this. A letter with my signature. Show it to him, and he's sure to change his tune. Good. Because I don't want to take that, pl the, you know, the restful watchman out. I don't want to be like, hey. They're playing tricks on people. You know. There was no harm done. A lusty Argonian maid showed up, and that's, he fainted? That's on him. That's not on the business. All right, let's go. Back into the restful watchman. Uh, there you Can are. I help you. Help. Oh, good afternoon. So I have this letter. What? Let me see that. Oh, damn. Fine. I'll tell you what I know. Listen, I heard the thief had some dealings with some uh, fellow businessmen holed up in the Gerald's. You'd probably call them bandits, though. I tell you, no respect for the profession these days. Here, just so I don't have to go sit in a cell again, I'll mark it on your map. Go take it up with them. And by the divines, leave me alone now, all right? God. That's more like it. See you around. All right. Yes. That's more like it. We're not gonna let him listen. Okay, where is this bandit den? Not too far away. All right, so we're gonna hit the road again. And once we search, start searching, <laughs> once we get to this bandit den, we'll catch up with you then. Ha! All right, here it is. Capstone Cave, near the Western Watchtower. Just to show you, I also went over here. There's this place called Apple Watch. Not the actual one, but you know. So we'll just come in here, see what we can find. Capstone Cave. So we got possible banditos, thieves, you know, char characters like that. We're not gonna go in weapons drawn because, you know. Who made that noise? Don't worry. Well, you leave me no choice. Oh, wrong one. That's the one. Oh, he didn't just kill. This'll hurt. Bad. <laughs> you got that right. 
I thought he just killed over. Got a note. Hey, okay. That stupid wannabe thief. That he's probably just delusionally the way I went at that treasure. Take us to the boys down the room of caverns where I sent da, 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 the full things we're gonna, we're gonna work for him with the cutters. Done a few old paths, of course. How stupid thieves can be. Some thieves, not all. Thank you. Uh, da, 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 either way, let's fly around. If you have visits with me, come back in a few days once all it's dealt with. I'll take that. Some mining stuff going on, but you know, we found the information we're looking for. So, ah, uh, so we're not going there. We're just gonna go report some findings. Okay. I'm sure after we talk to him, we'll be like, "All right, we'll go get it." So we'll go back to the captain and see you in a bit. All right, found the captain. There's a steaming thug inside my house. When are you going to do something? There's a trap door inside your house. You know that. I don't want to march in there in case they're planning an ambush. There's a trap door inside my house. I didn't realize that until now. Let's just wait a few minutes, see if the thief decides to try his luck leaving the building. Yes, we or do anything rash. Damn it all! Skeeving thieves can just wander inside while I'm sleeping and steal what little coin I have left to my name. Get away from me. Kidera, give me strength. Ah, oh, you're back. Come. Well, we need to talk. As you can see, there's another problem to deal with. So now old bartram has got a thug inside his house, apparently. Just... wonderful. To be honest, I'd rather be dealing with this than going on Count Carvain's wild guar chase. <laughs> <clears throat> I should ask before I march in there and deal with the thief. Did your investigation turn up any leads about the Count's precious artifacts? Yeah. He's gonna deliver them to a con contact in Bruma Caverns. You found a lead. That's... No small relief. I guess that means you go find him in the caverns while I go See. deal with the thief in Bartram's house. Yeah. Apparently the trap door in Bartram's house leads to the caverns. That changes things. Well, at least now we can kill two birds with one stone. If it's true, that is. Under most circumstances, I'd insist on going in first. I'm captain of the guard. It's my duty to shoulder the risk. But, well, this reeks of an ambush. It makes more sense to go in prepared. Let's go. Okay. It's got a little sign as well. And he turned bald. Ah! <laughs> Captain of the guard. Just what I needed. Go ahead. Rub salt right into the wound. What is the meaning of this? Why are you in Botram's house? And why in oblivion do you look like you're on death's doorstep? It all went wrong. The bandits tricked me. Typical. I wanted them to put in a good word for me with the cutters. But no, they lied. I gave their guy the artifacts, then they started swinging. I narrowly escaped by climbing back through the trap door. I see. Well, I'm placing you under arrest for stealing Count Carvain's Akaviri artifact collection. At least you won't bleed out in here. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with this guy, slap him in irons and take him before the Count. Finally get Carvain off my back. I suppose that means it's down to you to deal with the bandits and retrieve the artifacts. I suppose. I know the caverns are a favorite haunt of bandits and criminal types. Lots of them down there. No need to clear them out. Not that I'd complain if you did. Just grab the artifacts. Best of luck. Okay. Oh, it's all better. Alright, so I see the trap door. Through the caverns. Here we go. Right. Ooh, there's something going on.
There's a bit of that. Just keeping an eye on the ground. Lots of traps. Just be on the ready. Alright, so they're dealing with some wolves. That's what the commotion that we heard. Here, Kashit. A wizard. Found you. Good night. Ah, there's the Kashyyyk. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could have timed that with the the level up. Where you at? Crackling, some crackling oats. <laughs> oh. Amulet of RK. That actually is useful for us. Stash key, thank you. All right, let's level up before we die. We're gonna bump. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna bump some health. Restoration bump could be nice. Could be very nice. So we're good on that. Tired enemies. Yeah, so we need to... That there. Two-handed. Increase the damage of regular attacks. That's good. Two-handed sprinting power attack. We don't really do that that much. So this mall one really could help. Let's also the, re the restoration one could really yeah that that could really help us. So we, we'll use that for right now. So where's your stash? Because I just have a, a feeling that's where all the Akaviri goods are. Surely. I, th I thought there was going to be more. Hmm. Well, there's a stash. I would like to see w what. Oh, I didn't mean to take the damn shoes. Drop. <laughs> what is this? Gringo's falling out of the sky? <laughs> yes, oh, <I'm> <laughs> There's just lots of little nooks and crannies and things like that. That's where we came in. So we got a few paths, potentially. All right, so that heads out. Dead end, okay. So at least we're being 
a bit limited. This place isn't just some massive place of all things. Ooh, invisible scroll. Some baked potatoes. This goes up. Mm -hmm. it keeps going up. Maybe they stored their stash up high? Maybe that's it? Maybe there's a jump we have to make? Oh boy. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that wasn't it that I could tell. Yep. I gotta have the same fate as that wolf. No, thank you. Alright, so now we've been that way, so let's go this way. Okay. Oof. Oh boy. Oh. We got some help in there. Oof. Just a Oof. That berserk rage is real. Suffer. Oh, you're up there. Her rage is real. Woo! Yeah. Just destroying. Trolls aren't a threat. Anyone knows a pyromancer? Ooh, yes, please. Because there are potions that are similar. Ingots. Where's your stash, though? Okay, so this isn't it. Bush. Making some good money so far. I'd say so. Some gold. Hmm. Okay, so maybe up this way. Maybe. Because I haven't seen any, you know, stashes or anything like that just yet. Of course, no my luck, we've somehow already opened it. I just not realized it. And all of this is just extra. <laughs> okay. 
Can we take the dice? No? Nope. Okay. Alright, so there's more that way. It's kind of back where we came in, but we just need to go check out. I think I already checked. Yeah, that's where the, those foys were. That's that opening. Let's give it a save. Alright, so that goes somewhere. Still no stash so far. Oh. Hello. Well. <laughs> Friend or foe? They're coming after us. Oh. Now he does. the heal and heal quick. Oh. It's okay. Come back, troll. Have at me. didn't see, you know, when we were up there, any obvious signs of stash. Now I can't see anything. Keep looking. So far, no stash, no wear. Oh, man. I'm not joking about where this place can go. Sheesh. I think I hear another troll, maybe even a bear. Yep. Oh, trolls. Oh, boy. I'm just going to play it smart. And not take on three or four trolls at once. Just 
Just keep it cool. Nice and smart. Oh, come on. Definitely some sort of stash. But it did not seem. Oh, and Boosh, by the way. Hmm. Golding and silver ingots. Gauntles, boots. Okay, so this safe is. A bush. Also not the stash. Oof. Hmm. And I particularly don't want to deal with four orcs. Okay. So I think for now. We'll just cut our losses. I mean, we've, we've gained a good amount. That stash is going to weigh on us a little bit, you know, because who knows what it could have been. But we're going to make our way out of here. Head back. Turn in the jewels. Potentially get a reward of some kind, and we'll just keep going. <laughs>